I've been looking for a good budget travel tripod that is lightweight, compact, and over five feet. And I think I've found it. As many of you know, I'm six foot eight, so I need one that is tall enough. And that's a real tall order, pun intended. I think I might have just found it in the Hyosin 65 inch travel tripod. And I'm going to be doing a quick review of that in this video. Welcome, I'm Arnie of Arnie Jacobson TV, where we share travel videos and gear reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Just click that big red subscribe button down below. And don't forget, click that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. Oh, and don't forget, check the show notes and the links in the YouTube description down below. <laughs> So let's get started, shall we? As you can see, this is nice and tall. I'm pleased with that. As we all know, having a sturdy, lightweight travel tripod is a must-have. And as a frequent traveler, I've been keeping my eye out for something that is affordable, lightweight, tall enough, small enough. So this is the Hyosin 65-inch travel tripod. Let's take a look at the specs. It comes in at a really light 2.9 pounds, 1.32 kilograms, I believe it is. That's really, really light. And, you know, and it, and it doesn't seem to compromise with strength either. It has a payload capacity of 17 pounds, which is 8 kilograms. None of us, well, <laughs> maybe not. there are some, most of us are not going to need anything that has more capacity than that. This is very, very solid. And when it's folded down, it goes to a tiny 18 inches, about 45 and a half centimeters, if I'm not mistaken. I typically attach this to the outside of my Lowepro uh, Fastpack camera bag. It's a nice little pocket out there and a strap fits in there perfectly. You could also put it into in your luggage and just pops right in there. Oh, by the way, it also comes with this nice little carry pack. You can fold it up, pop it right in there, throw some other things in as well. It has a nice little strap. Kind of a nice little feature. The tripod is constructed of aluminum, lightweight aluminum, and it looks to me like some of this is made of plastic. I do know that from reading the stats that it's CNC machined plastic, and it's not just die cast, so it makes it stronger. So, the basic stats are all well and good, right? The, the length, the weight, all that stuff. But it's the, it's the little features that really, really make for, uh, you know, a handy device to use. One of those things, and my, probably my favorite, is the hook from down below. This is a lightweight tripod, so, you know, if you're just using it this way, you might run into difficulty with it tipping over. But with this hook, you can just attach your camera gear bag or sandbag or whatever you might have with you to weight it down, give it a little more substance. Just like that. Now that's not a feature that you come across on every budget tripod. So keep your eye out for that. The next thing that I like, you'll notice on two of the legs, the spongy material that they put on here you know, that is really a nice, nice additional little, you know, perk that allows you to easily carry things around. Your hands aren't going to get as tired. When it's cold, it's nice to, to grip something that's not just metal. And when it's hot, it's nice to grab something that's not just metal. So I really, really like that. Like I say, it's on two of the legs. And speaking of the legs, these flips... I don't know what to call them. The flip locks, I guess. My preference. I really like them because it makes it so easy just to extend things. You pop right out, you lock them right back up, and it's just as easy to, um, you know, shrink it back up. There are the, the uh, tripods that have the twist locks. Some people like them. 
Can't deny that. But I just think it's, you know, just a little bit, it slows you down. I, I, you know, it's all a personal thing. Anyway, I like, I like those kind a lot, the flips. Working our way down the legs, the feet. You'll notice the feet are rubberized, and they also have these sharp little points. Sharp, eh, maybe not the best description, but they're points. And it allows you to you know, set up on a variety of different surfaces, floors, concrete, you name it, uh, outside, on trails. It's very stable. Not going to go anywhere. And particularly when you have that bag hanging from the hook up here. Super. Let's work our way back up to the top, to the head. Now, obviously, this is not a pan head, although it does allow you some very smooth side-to-side -side movement. It's very nice. It's a very super smooth movement there. Also, excellent ball head. Really big ball here. Makes for nice smooth movement. Lock that puppy down. On top, you'll see that it has a, a level also to tell you whether you're uh, on you know, your camera is level. Also, kind of a nice additional little feature is that it comes with a quick release plate, quick release head. Because if you have your own, it's easy enough to change them out. As I was saying, there is no pan head here. You can also always put one on if you want to. Most of the time you're going to be using this, you're going to be using it locked off. And, you know, that's how most of us are going to use it anyway. You can do, certainly do things like tilting forward on your tripod legs and that kind of stuff, or, you know, side to side. You can also, although this isn't a monopod, you can always um, put the legs together and use it that way if you wish to. All in all, very, very solid head. Another feature that isn't common in, in small or in budget um, tripods is the ability to invert the head so you can get lower photos, video, what have you. Just take it out, pop it in, put the hook part back in, and there you have it. You can do all kinds of things, and the legs will go out flatter too, so you can get really low camera angles. Again, budget tripods don't often come with this. So that about covers it for the features. I don't think I've left anything out. So let's talk about price. At the time of this recording, the Hyosin 65 inch was going for 59 bucks. 59 bucks is really quite the price. Certainly you can find some that are cheaper, won't be nearly as stable, won't have the features. You can find some that are exorbitantly more expensive. So you're going to have to weigh what your, you know, your interests are. So all in all, in recapping, $59 for this great tripod. Has a lot of features. Great, smooth head, ball head. It has the quick release plate. It has the um, bubble level on it. Really nice grips here. Uh, has the hook for weighting it down. Has a quick release legs, shrinks up to 18 inches, goes up to 65. <laughs> what more can you ask for for 59 bucks? I can't think of anything. Well, if you like this kind of content, make sure that you click that subscribe button. Leave us a comment down below. You have any other suggestions? We're always open to budget don't go telling me about $300 uh, tripods, travel tripods that are better. Um, so leave us a comment down below. Give us a like. Share with your friends. We do appreciate it.
Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Oh, and by the way, there's a little bit more information for uh, our other videos right over here on the side. Thanks.